Hey, this is Michelle's house and last year I went and painted this mural for her on her exterior stucco wall. It took about three or four days and this year in 2021 she called me back to paint another mural and also outside and this is it. So in this video I just wanted to show you how I did this. You guys asked me how to paint on an extremely textured surface so here we go. Hi. First I'm gonna sketch on the design. Then I'm going to be priming this wall with this uh, concrete and masonry primer <laughs> and then we're going to be painting the wall. Okay, let's do it! So first I sketched the design in chalk which is really important when you're working on a mural without a background because if you make a mistake in sketching you can easily wash it off with water. And this primer is really thick and it also acted a little bit like a spackling agent because it filled in all the little cracks and nooks and crannies and holes of this highly textured wall. And for the lines that needed to be crisp, of course, I used a newer flat brush so that I can get all the details in there and it doesn't look frayed and rough and I can get some nice detail in there. And then to tell apart the difference between the grass and the river stones that I'm gonna put in later on, I colored some of my primer so that I can tell where one section starts and the other one begins. For example, in this river stone section, I just put a little bit of, uh, I think, red or some brown. And then for the leaves, put a tiny little bit of green paint in there so that I can tell the leaves apart from the flowers. And I use mostly the, the regular contractor brushes and then Michelle thought she wanted some canna lilies. I put a little splash of red. It's day two and now that we have everything primed and the primer had a day to dry off, it's time to add some color. The second day, when everything was dry, I started putting in the color and you can see how vibrant this mural paint is. I used the Chroma mural paint again and I've used this before indoor and outdoor as well. It's really good that it's light fast, which means it doesn't fade when the sun shines on it and it can withstand the outdoor elements. It's very bright and pigmented. I really enjoy the way this works. And if I didn't have the primer on the wall, it would have taken a lot of paint and the wall would have absorbed a lot of that paint and it wouldn't have been as bright and vibrant if it didn't have a white background from the primer. So that's why it's really important to prime your stucco wall if you're working outside. And even if you're working inside, if your wall is not primed, if you're working on raw wood, or on a raw wall. Always prime your wall. Then I did different layers and um, I didn't go crazy with the details in this mural because of the limited budget and time. <laughs> so sometimes you need to do um, less intricate design for your client so that you don't have to spend so much time. Michelle's murals are always a little bit challenging because she doesn't like to have a background so I have to pay extreme attention to not dirty up her wall. Generally I'm used to paint the whole, painting the whole wall which is way easier because I can easily cover up any mistakes. This mural took three days to complete in all. The first day I primed it, the second day I did this section and then the third day I just worked on the sunflowers and the, the birds. But overall the bench was absolutely my favorite part. <laughs> I just really love painting stone. There's something about stone that calls out to me. I've always liked the look of stone. It just speaks of strength and hardness and solidity. I like the color of this too. It's this burnt sienna or burnt umber color. really like it. I mixed some of that red and the green to create this color because I didn't have the brown 
you can mix pretty much any color from uh, red, yellow and blue and I also use white and black but for this one I use a variety for the green I actually use two shades of green and then I mix oh, a little bit of blue in there to achieve some darker shades I really love making these layers and cracks in the in the stone it's one of my favorite things and one of the good parts about having a highly textured wall is that you're using quite a bit of paint and a lot of the paint goes in the crack and because of that it stays wet for longer which allows you to mix and blend much easier creating a, a gradient if it was a really smooth wall I wouldn't have been able to mix it to mix all these it would have dried so much faster it's a plus and a minus it depends sometimes I was frustrated about it not drying fast enough because I wanted to give it another coat but um, to give more depth but it still wasn't dry so I had to wait if you're enjoying this video make sure to give it a like and look who decided to show up i was so pleasantly surprised about this little visitor it really made my day he was like hey here i am pretty i like your mural <laughs> he says so anyway if you are enjoying this and want to see more murals and all sorts of art projects um subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you have then thank you so much for your continued support. I really appreciate you. Let me know in the comments down below uh, what you want to see next. And I'll probably be back with another mural at Michelle's house. Probably next year. Who knows? <laughs>